Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. The last time we spoke about Twitter was when I'd first signed up and uh, I was pretty fed up with those B-grade celebrities tweeting every minute about their tracky dackies and morning runs. And well, after a few months of using Twitter, my opinion still hasn't changed. See, uh, it's a bit of an old chicken egg situation. In order to make it worth your while, you need a decent amount of followers that actually care about your constant drivel. But the problem is, nobody wants to start following a Norman No Friends with zero followers and so you're stuck in this vicious cycle. Uh, who wants to start sending out tweets when nobody's listening? It's like talking to yourself in a giant cave called the internet. Except you've written it down in 140 characters or less. Awesome. Anyway, they seem to have combined Twitter with everything now. The old camera phone and a bit of a trigger happy finger can be a bit dangerous. For example, you know, say it's Valentine's Day, uh, you know, I've just finished my little four hour workout down at the gym, and I go to send a nice little portrait of my throbbing pictorials to Mrs. Brown, push the wrong button and boom! There you go, my million followers just received a little twit pic of my nip slip. Uh, not the best start to the day.